gonna get a little bit more. These are one of the bonus missions. This should be easy. Ah, oh, that'd be fun to review. <laughs> you know, it's weird huh. that, you Reviews know, it's... Jurassic Park. Dun, 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 Oh my fucking god, it's a dinosaur. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> saw Jurassic Park in theaters when it first came out. I was completely blown away. Um, at the time, I was one of those kids where, ew, it's not a cartoon movie. It's for adults. I don't want to see it, Dad. You're growing that file, Emily. Dad! No! You're Boom, you little <laughs> shit! <laughs> Sorry. I just wanted to make a joke of that. And then... And I ended up liking it, so yeah, thanks for making me go to the theater, Dad. Love you. Miss you. Oh my god. Look at that. That's fucking ridiculous. Yep, I knew that was gonna happen. I knew it. I fucking knew it. I saw it coming, and I was gonna take the fucking hit. Okay, time to use the Phoenix. Come on. Falcon, do your thing. Get out of the way. Fucking piss off. No! Oh, oh my god. Jesus H. Christ, this is ridiculous. All right. Oh my god, okay. <sighs> Did the cult just... gave up? No, we're still here. Okay. No, we're still here. We just... Come on, come on, come on, come on! This is a question. Uh... Should I continue reading? Okay. Oh my god! I you a... <sighs> Jurassic Park was my first movie, and I was told for years that I slept throughout the whole movie. Um, I'm not surprised because you were one year old, dude. <laughs> Why would you take a baby to a theater? They're not gonna experience anything. They're too young. Because usually it's the parents that want to go and they can't leave their kids yes. home because it's a one-year-old baby. Woo! Got lots and of it, money! And if you slept through it and you weren't the kid that was screaming to the whole time, you know? You'd yeah. be happy about that. Yeah. Ah, uh, I played two Jurassic Park games. I played Lost World Jurassic Park for the PS2? And I played uh, Warpath Jurassic Park. Yes. That was a fighting game. It was fun. Yeah, so I know that using save states is cheap, but you know what? This game is hard as balls. This dude has a weird forehead. Alright, let's see what we got. Closers are always nice. Um. Those may be needed. 
You know, it sends a lot of logic. My dad sounded like a gorilla back in the day. That's how he sounded to me as a kid. Sue me if it sounded like full biceps. <laughs> Going on full blast. Gotcha. Come on. Yeah, that's right. I'm about to kick gum and chew ass. Oh, yeah, no, I just, I, I'm fucking taking everything because I'm on the last continue. I got to go out with a bang at least, you know? <laughs> that's it. I didn't catch what you said. Ow! God damn it. You haven't been doing it? She said you haven't been doing that? <laughs> haven't been doing what? Kicking ass? You know what, yeah. What makes you say that? Because you did not retaliate or comment back. You just went quiet. I'm still trying to, like, understand what you're saying. Ah! You said you wanted to go out with a bang. Oh, she then... asked you, you haven't been doing that this whole time? <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> I followed it up with kaboom and here we are and now the joke's ruined because I had to break it down for you. Why is it that the joke isn't funny anymore if it's explained? If you get the joke, then it should be funny because regardless. if I have to explain the joke to you, then it's no longer funny! What if they understand it and they still find a laugh out of it? I don't believe in the whole if you explain the joke, there is no joke. Because it's still part of a conversation. To the joke is to get a laugh. You can still get a laugh if you're told what it is. <laughs> sometimes, no. but it sometimes. can be annoying to the person who's telling. Me. Well, sometimes if maybe yeah. you explain your joke better. Ow! Fuck! Well, sometimes no. just get the joke. I wish KG was scared she'd be trolling your ass so hard right now. <laughs> Wheel of Steel, shut the fuck up. So apparently the rule of comedy is to leave the other person clueless. Leave the other person what? So part of uh, the rule of comedy is leaving the other person clueless? No, the, the whole, the rule of comedy is to make sure that the person laughs at yeah. the punchline. If they okay. don't laugh at the punchline because they totally missed the joke, well then the joke is a failure. Or, the, the one who's being joked to is completely clueless and an uncultured swine. Jeez. <laughs> And believe me, this has happened to me on multiple occasions where jokes literally went over my head. You know, because I'm so small. But oosh, there's the joke. It's a classic. Okay, so Myth Pony explained that it's less fun. Yeah, it's sorry that you would have to explain the joke. If I have to explain the joke to you, I basically lost, lost the punchline. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay sometimes. It's okay. It happens. I sometimes have to have the joke explained to me, too. And then, you know, sometimes I will actually laugh. Just because of the whole, I can't believe I missed that. Oh, Peter wants back in. Ow! 
Là, j'ai pas une barque. Hello. Hi. Hello. Net. Hello. Fuck. What was that accident? Did you just go southern on me? No. It sounds like darling. Accents come in here and there. I, I can't control them, okay? Accents come in here and there, don't you know? Of course, I'll understand if you want to get a southern accent and all. All you gotta do is get your R sounded just right. Her? Okay, I, I'm just gonna give a shout out. One of the best things I've ever seen produced in the south is about this. Someone took Odin's wise words to men and an accent, which is actually really cool because there are a lot of Odinists here. I'm noticing. It's an awesome book. I'm nerding out over it. Just you can find it online for free because the guy, the guy who made it, published it on a website. It's <clears throat> Oh, excuse me. Nice. <laughs> Fucking massacre that entire group. Complete and total massacre. Uh. What yep. he said. That <laughs> Okay, I just thought of the perfect video since you're playing this game. Hold on, I gotta go find it. Are you gonna, like, play it on your phone? Duh. So, I'm currently just grinding. Independence Day. You did not shoot You did not throw that green shit at me. Play this! Jesus, we're gonna get copyright struck. All that copyright. Pew, 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 pew. Copyright. So oh, here's a way to uh, get rid of it. I don't care what people say about Independence Day. It's still a fun ass movie. Oh no, I love it. It's one of my favorite movies. Is that the one where they shoot the White House with aliens and shit? <laughs> <laughs> you know what's sad? The only reason why I know of that scene or my first exposure to that scene was not from Independence Day. It was when they referenced it in Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go commit a Sudoku now. Your movie's good when it receives the critical reviews it did, and uh, oh yeah, there are references to it, like from Shadow the Fucking Hedgehog. <laughs> Don't forget Star Fox. Did not know about that one because I haven't played Star Fox. 
Ah, uh, you're missing out. Yeah! Money, 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 money! This is just grinding as shit. Star Fox 64. That's, that's what I mean, Magical Star. Defeated Bu Captain Bucky O'Hare? Who the fuck is Captain Bucky O'Hare? Oh, man. Now I want to watch that movie. <laughs> what, Independence Day? Wait until yeah, the... I, would, I actually have not seen it in two years, so I figured I gave it a good break. <laughs> I haven't seen that movie in a longer ass break. Oh, see, that's the thing. My mom would love just rewatching it over and over during the Fourth of July, so it got really repetitive. So I, I admit, I got sick of it for a while. But it's been a few years that I gave it enough break. Now I want to watch it again. You see, my parents were the ones that would always play Mars. <laughs> Mars what? <laughs> July. Mars attack. Mars Attacks, it's a comedy horror. I've I guess. seen it, it's really stupid. Attack! <laughs> I know that James Earl Jones got blasted to oblivion. <laughs> Don't it was try. Colorful. We are your friends. <laughs> No, I just, just I, I love the scenes of the Independence Day because aside from obvious sub CGI, they use practical effects too. Yeah, like the uh, the actual alien itself. Yeah, the actual like atmosphere break in when the UFOs first appeared to the actual explosion of the cities. Those were models with fire. Uh, basically, they they made very very detailed models of like New York or Washington, whatnot. And then they had the models slanted up vertically, placed the camera, then they literally torched the models. Like they had one shot with this. Um, or I think they had a few shots with this because they had to make multiple models. I don't know, I'll have to rewatch that part. But yeah, then they, they would torch the models from, from the bottom and the camera would basically capture everything being caught on fire in slow motion. Uh, the use of camera angles and practical effects. Don't get those anymore. Okay, usually you do, but most of the time, nah. All that CGI shit that's like slightly gone down in some companies. I can only name good. one series that still uses practical effects. One series, take a guess. Alien? No. What? Alien? Jurassic Park series. Mm -hmm. Um, Jurassic World Not used a lot of. Two. Yeah, they used a lot of they CGI. Still use that yes, they did. They also used a lot of practical effects as well. Yeah, but they were shitty ones. Oh, EG just mentioned one. that the Star Wars trilogy still uses practical effects. I suppose. Oh, Krampus used it a lot for sure, yeah. Excuse me, I'm gonna go watch Aliens. <laughs> Get away from her, you bitch! <sighs> Alright, let's go to the main mission. Just fucking going full blast. Just 
don't you know get what fucking. What series might blow my mind again when it comes out this year? What? When it comes to Craft the Dark Crystal show. The Dark Crystal. Oh, is right? that still not out yet? It's coming out this year. Oh, oh I want to see that. <laughs> yep. God. Damn. Oh, I'm excited for that. Oh, oh yeah, I'm hella excited. Watching the scene before they blow up the cities, and the whole time I'm just screaming at the people. Why are you looking at it? Run! Are you talking about the people at the top of the LA Tower? Because those people like, were morons. I know they're already doomed, but it doesn't matter. It's like, run! Whoa, Jesus. Er I remember crying because one of the cities they mentioned that was also destroyed was Houston, Texas. Watching this in theaters, my I was holding my mom and dad's hands, and I'm like, Nana, Papa. Oh God! <laughs> that's where my that's where my grandparents live, and my mom's like, it's not real, honey. Fuck! I'm like, but if it were, Nana and Papa would be gone. <laughs> yeah, I was that kid. <laughs> Thoves, that's how the game functions. Come on. Okay, so I got two extra lives left. Come on. I'm gonna beat this game one day, I swear to God. I am gonna fucking beat this game one day. Something I don't understand is why Indie thinks it's like you've been invited to apply to this job for resume match and it said auto it said diesel mechanic. I'm just like I don't have the certification for that. What makes you think I can do I'm flattered, but really. That's just spam. That's not a real thing. No, it's it's something that Indeed does because it automatically scans your thing to email jobs that fit your resume. Ah! So it's not a scam. It's it is a it is a thing. It's just the diesel mechanic job application doesn't list that you need it. It probably just assumes that you should know that. So ah, Jesus yeah. Christ. No, let's see. What kind of question is that? Oh my god. Can I call you Philly? What? Is that weird or anything? Ah, damn it! It's like a hit. Shit. Oh my god. Oh, great, now I'm on permanent danger. Fuck! I know what to use first. Another one, another one, come on! There we go. Where is it? Gun pod ceiling. No! Oh god! No! Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it! Fuck! I was doing so well!